Welcome to this day tripper adventure. I'm at Waterloo Station and I want to show you one of my favourite walks in London. It must be the best walk in London. I'm walking from Waterloo to London Bridge along the South Bank, along the Thames Path. There's so many sights on the way, so let the adventure begin. So as you come out of Waterloo Station, walk straight down and then walk through this cut through and you go in between the South Bank Centre, up the steps, and that takes you out to the banks of the River Thames. There's lots of cafes and bars, lots of things along the South Bank. You won't be short of choices. If you want to stop for something to eat, it makes a really nice afternoon. This walk probably isn't that, isn't that far. I'm hoping to do it in about an hour, but you could easily spend an afternoon down here. I want to go down to the like the embankment or along the side of the river so you have to go up these steps this is a bridge and you go down the other side and then join the walk along the riverbank it's a view of the other side of the river you can see Charing Cross station you can even see, see the post office tower through that gap there you can even take um, the river ferry this is the Festival Pier station. The clouds do look a little bit ominous. Skate park, all the graffiti. A lot of uh, people come down here, young people come down, practice their skills. So there's always something to see down here. That's what I like about it. It's so different. Like you wouldn't expect to see this in the centre of London, would you? Street food stalls. Street bars. You even get the Thames Beach down here when the tide's gone out like this. You've got Gabriel's Wharf, loads of restaurants here, so many choices. You see containers. You see the weather's really closed in now, but real day trippers don't quit. This is the Blackfriars Bridge. You've got the original one, which is gone, just the pillars remaining. You've got the old one, which is still there. It looks very old. And then to the right, you've got the new one with the new Blackfriars station, which is amazing. So if you want to leave the walk here, you can. You can just go straight into Blackfriars station and get your train. You can go to all sorts of places, Brighton, Luton Airport, Gatwick. But in true day tripper style, you don't quit, you keep on going, because you know the sun is going to come out again. You can see it's cleared, you can see across, and then you've got a better view of St Paul's on the other side of the river, and you've got the City of London. I'm at the Founders Arms. So you can see there's a lot to see on this walk. If I was in London and I had one day, um, this is what I would do, because you see so many things from the river. It's so historic on the river. London basically grew up around the river. And it's free, isn't it? It's free to walk along the river. So it's a really good day trip or an afternoon trip while you're in London. If you've got, if you're short of time, just walk along here, get to Waterloo or get to London Bridge and walk along. There you go, Tate Modern. It's free and it's open to all. So if you want to, you can cross the bridge here and go over to St Paul's, see St Paul's and walk around the city and see the other side of the river. You can walk back on the other side maybe along the embankment. I'm going to continue to 
Tower Bridge on this side of the South Bank. Next stop on the tour, if you want to stop, is the Shakespeare's Globe. So very historic, look at these houses here. And then you've got the actual reconstruction of Shakespeare's Globe, which was on this site as a theatre in the 1500s, believe it or not. You can see they've built it in that style. It's got a thatched roof. You can get tickets and go and see a Shakespeare play. I have been to one a few years ago, but don't get the cheap seats because the cheap seats are in the middle. And it's like an amphitheatre, but there's no roof over the middle. So if you get the cheap seats and it rains like today, then you get a drenching. But if you're in the expensive seats, like I was, because I got invited by somebody, thankfully, you can sort of laugh at all the peasants in the middle getting soaked. There's another river taxi here, Bankside Pier. So if you've had enough at this point, you can get off and get back on the ferry if you buy that ticket to go back to where you started. Or you can go further down the Thames. I think you can get a pass for the whole day. It's not that expensive. That's really nice as well. I'd recommend doing that when you're in London because you see all the views really and you can visit some sites on the way. So that's definitely a good thing to do. It's not that far now from the uh, Tower Bridge. You can see the Shard, which isn't, that's about where Tower Bridge is, near there. Lots of restaurants, lots of nice pubs, lots of places to stop. You've got big chains. You're bound to find something down here. Something for everybody. You go away from the Thames for a little bit now through some streets. You've got the Clink Prison Museum, which is like an experience, I think. You go into the old dungeon and talk to your friends. Bit of history here. This is the Winchester Palace. These ruins all remain the palace of the powerful bishops of Winchester in the 12th century. So much history in London. You can see the evidence of the old wharves. And you can see the maritime history. This is a, a reconstruction, I think. It's Southwark Cathedral, which I think you can go in there if you like. It's a lovely building, again, very historic. This is Hayes Galleria, which is another, it's like a retail development, lots of stores, lots of places to have something to eat. So there's another place you could stop, historic as well. You can see it's amazing, isn't it? It's huge. Look at the, the roof on there. There's some regular stores there like Next as well, but it's mainly beverage, food and beverage. And it, this is um, a little bit about it here. It was Hayes Wharf, tea clippers from India and China. 150 years ago, it was a dock. Another really interesting thing you can look at here is HMS Belfast. You can learn about HMS Belfast's leading role in the D-Day landings, and that's something which I'm going to cover in future videos. So there you go, you've got City of London behind, you've got the Gherkin building, the Walkie Talkie building, all the high rise buildings, HMS Belfast, you've got the River Thames, then just above that uh, bridge you've got the Tower of London. You see the Tower of London on the other side with the flagpole, that's where they used to execute people like Anne Boleyn was, had her head chopped off there. You can visit that as well on the other side of the Thames. And then, internationally known site, isn't it? In fact, a lot of these are, but Tower Bridge. Absolutely amazing. Amazing. And you can go on Tower Bridge and you can walk across that walkway. That you can see that joins the two towers. And it's got like a, a see-through floor, so you can walk through sections of it. 
that's a really good stop as well so that would take you another couple of hours to do that that's a really good you should do that while you're in London Tower Bridge lovely shot there isn't it of the buses going over Tower Bridge and then behind me this building here City Hall so this is where the London city government is run from it was really cutting edge when that was opened looking a little bit tired now but there you go lots of restaurants around here too so that's it really for this walk hope you enjoyed this I really recommend you do this walk if you're in London just for a short time this is one you must do I mean you see all the sights you don't have to have an organized tour for this one it's pretty obvious what everything is absolutely amazing well worth it and it's only taken around an hour to walk down here I haven't hung about I haven't stopped anywhere but so you could you know stop a few places and make a whole day trip of it so as the rain comes down I think I'll say goodbye here so with Tower Bridge in the background thanks for watching this day trip adventure hope you try this one really recommended easy to do doesn't take long and memorable views so thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video bye for now